Rosa, please. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Today we're gonna be checking out Eula and her scented materials needed. So if you pop up to the top right hand corner here, we're gonna go to her scented materials preview and this is where you can pick up all those acquaint baits as well as preview all the materials that you're gonna need for her ascension. So talking to Nevada Jade, we're gonna need one of the slivers, nine fragments, nine chunks, as well as six gemstones. You can pick this up from the Cryo Ridges Vine boss over here in Mondstadt, but you may as well pick it up where you're going to get this crystalline bloom, which is off of our Cryo Hypostasis boss. This is the new boss that was added just over here in Dragon Spine. So just pop on over there and <laughs> kick his butt. Um, do make sure that you open up these warming mechanisms um, so you don't freeze to death. For the most part, you're going to be avoiding a lot of these different attacks as they do hurt quite a bit. Um, so just make sure you're very careful with Thanks that. For mercy. And bringing pyro characters, um, if you have a hotel, she just shreds this boss to pieces. But once you get him low enough, he's going to go into shield mode here. And from here, he's going to throw these frost fruits at you. All you're going to do is throw them back at him uh, with a charged attack here. And once you do it twice, you should be able to go in with the pyro character and melt the rest of the shield off and take him out. You will need that 40 resin with all world bosses to open up this trounce blossom, but then he'll drop the materials that you need. Yeah. Next up, we're gonna take a look at those damaged masks, which you'll need 18 of, 30 of the stain masks, and 36 of Omnis. Now you can go up to your navigation book here and search for easy enemies, pop down to those hilly trails and navigate them on out. This is gonna pop them up on your mini map. And you can also find these from a lot of the different commissions that you get, as well as some of the ley lines spawn them as well. And I'll pop the deets put that in the description Everybody below next up these dandelion seeds you're gonna need a hundred and sixty eight of these um so these are my dandelion seed infographics which i will just pop in the description down below um so you can go pick them on up um, you will need an Enemo character to farm these. Uh, the Traveler, you can use her skill, but sadly her auto attack does not work here. Um, so if you do have Sucrose, she's probably going to be one of the better options as her auto attack will collect these for you. Um, but we are going to go through all these locations here uh, if you need a visual. If you don't, you can pop on over to the next chapter. And we'll see you after these are all done. Bye. Feelings. It's like I can't walk on the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Got me dreaming. Dreaming in colors I never dreamed.
take a look at her talent materials now you're gonna need these resistance XP books which is just found at your Monstant talent level up domain um, and you can find these there Tuesday and Friday as well you'll need more damage masks from those hilly trolls and seven plus talents will need these dragon lord crowns and these can be dropped off our new Azdaha boss um, he is a little bit more on the difficult side make sure your party burns shielding characters as he does do a lot of damage and make sure you're avoiding some of his heavy attacks here um, as they do really hurt <laughs> And he's just going to be found down here, uh, a little south of Mount Hula. And you can pick up those Dragon Lord's crowns there. One thing to note is that you can pop over to your alchemy branch and upcraft all of these materials. Um, but the one thing to really note is the convert feature over here. And um, if you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see all the talent materials that you can now swap to the ones that you need using this dream solvent, which is another RNG drop from all of our weekly bosses. So good luck at getting that as well as the talent materials you do need, um, but you can always switch them. And then you should have all the materials that you need to ascend your Eula and get her ready to go kick some butt in your party. One thing to note is she's going to upgrade that crit damage when you ascend her. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already. We'd love to see you in all of our upcoming Genshin content. Until then guys, take care. Time for retribution!